Hello everyone, Scott here. Bit of a different video today. I'm going to do a video on starting a collection. So, I've done quite a few vinyl and CD updates in the past few weeks, so I thought I'd do something different. Uh, I've still got a, I've got still got vinyl to show, but I've got CDs and stuff coming in, vinyl coming in, so I thought I won't bore you with another vinyl update. Um, and I kind of came, a, I kind of thought about this idea because I thought it'd be a good video um, for me to watch when I was first starting to collect. Um, and it's just to basically stop people paying over the odds for records. Um, kind of teaching to be patient and um, just watch what you're buying. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. I went through my collection which I quite like doing these kind of videos because it does give you a chance to go through your collection, see what you've got, see what you are missing. A um, couple of things I noticed. I've lost my um, copy of Dio, Dream Evil. No idea what that is. And I also found an album still sealed, um, still in the shrink, that I've not even looked at yet. Um, I think I actually bought that during the move, so it kind of just got stuffed away. But... Um, yeah, I've not even opened it yet, so, and the worst thing about it is I actually only bought it because it was so cheap on Amazon, I, I forgot to take it off my wish list, and it was so cheap I only bought it, so I would have put it away in my unit and realised I already had a copy. So yeah, it's, it was quite good going through it all, um, and I've basically just picked out albums that you can get cheap, it's like starting your, starting your um, collection on a budget. Um, you don't want to go and start buying all the, unless you've got the money, but me personally, and probably like the average person, you've got to work off a budget, so you wouldn't start with the Black Sabbath Vertigo Swirls originals from 1970, because um, that's going to cost you an arm and a leg, where um, when I was first starting out, that could be used to buy maybe seven, eight or nine records at a time. So I basically picked out records that you can get to kind of kickstart your collection and um, because the worst thing I think when you're when you first start to collect records is you want more and more and more I'm kind of at a stage now where I'm quite content I've got quite a well not as big as some of you guys but it's big enough where I've got plenty to choose from um, I filled up my bins um, I'm actually reading the new Calax um, but at the start when you've just got like a pile that's like this big or this big you just want more and more and more because you, you basically want to kickstart your collection. So that's what I've kind of done. I've pulled out records that are maybe I've got for five, six to eight pounds. There will be some reissues in there that are cheaper than the originals, and there will be some newish records as well that are actually going for still a good price. So I'm going to get into it because I've got a stack of stuff here. So I'm just going to quickly run through it. I'm not going to explain about them, but I'll kind of go through. They are cheap, so um, along with this video, do your research. Um, it's the best way to go. Go on Discogs, look for what things are going for. Don't get put off by eBay prices. If an album's going for £15, don't think that's its worth. That's just somebody trying to get a slab of cash for it. Um, so yeah, do, do your research. So I'm going to start off with Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet, a very... Um, a very popular album at the time, so there's plenty of these kicking about, so don't get forced into paying 15, 16 quid for this. This is an £8 record. Uh, White Snake, slide it in. Um, I've seen loads of these about. This is about, I, thought, I think I got this for about 6 quid in good nick. These are all in like VG, VG Plus to excellent condition, so um, slide it in. White Snake, also a cheap record and very good. Uh, Chastain picked this up recently, Ruler of the Wasteland. I think I picked this up for £5.50 on a vinyl, an online vinyl shop, and it's in Superb Nick. So that's that one. Um, Night Ranger, you'll pick up all kinds of Night Ranger for uh, really cheap. Um, Don Patrol, um, their debut, absolutely awesome. Um, I never, I didn't pay over a tenner for this. so. Um, and even less for these other two, sorry about the glare. Um, so Night Rangers, always a good way to go to start filling up your collection. 
Uh, not just cheap, but just awesome music. Um, David Lee Roth, Eat Him and Smile. Um, debut, don't know why I'm going to show you the back. Um, but the one with Yankee Rose, uh, you can pick this up for a fiver. Uh, Malmsteen's Rising Force, you'll see a lot of these out if you're digging. Um, I certainly do, and I don't think I've paid over eight or nine pound for one of these um, in VG plus condition. Uh, Reckless, um, I think this is their only album. This was really, really cheap. I think it was about a fiver. Um, it could even have been less. Um, and don't think just because records you don't know them um, or they're cheap, don't go by. Uh, how cheap they are because they can still be absolutely fantastic records and this just goes to show that uh, that's true so that's reckless and uh, no frills um, Great White you will pay higher prices for some Great White but um, for this this is probably one of their most common albums I would see out in the wild um, and I think this was 6 quid so that was uh, a cheap one and like I said, don't get put off by if they're cheap. You don't want to just be hunting um, expensive records. Uh, bonfire and fireworks. Can't go wrong with them um, early bonfire. Um, pick up any if you can for under a tenner. You will not be disappointed. Um, fireworks is probably the highlight of the 80s for me. Um, this is actually a newer one. Uh, Death Angel, The Evil Divide. Um, go on Amazon, this is probably sitting at around 13, 14 quid. Um, this is their, not their newest, but their, their one before. Um, so, a really good package. I think this comes with a CD as well, so you can't go wrong with that one. Uh, some Japanese heavy metal from Loudness. Uh, Thunder in the East, absolutely awesome. Um, I picked this up for about £8 with the shrink on. So... Um, and just a top to bottom awesome album. Uh, next one is Leather Wolf. So you might not have heard of Leather Wolf, um, but they're just awesome. Uh, record with three guitarists, so really heavy on the guitars, but uh, really, really good. I've picked this one out because I got this for maybe just over a tenner, um, but you see it for some reason much higher than that on eBay. Uh, don't buy it any higher than that because you will see it at a much cheaper price along the line. So be patient. Um, um, a good way to get um, some music for cheap is go for compilations. So this is Protect the Innocent. This has the likes of um, Black Sabbath, Motorhead, We Afford, Kingdom, Kingdom Come, Magnum, Vow Wow, Ozzy Osbourne. Um, all sorts of good stuff on this and this was about does that have a price on it no um this was under a tenner and it's a, a double disc a gatefold so always a good way to pick up some great music for um next to nothing um another one metal killers if you see any of these these should be going for about five or six quid um always full of great tracks and also gives you a chance to learn about new bands as well. So um, there's a few. This is volume three. So I think I might have another one in the collection as well. But always pick up these if I see them. Uh, Rat. Um, you'll pay a bit more for the later stuff. Maybe like uh, Detonator and Reach for the Sky. But the likes of this. This is one of my favourite albums from Rat. Dance Undercover. £68. Six two eight, not sixty eight, um, but an awesome record, and um, it's worth having in your collection. Um, I'll go through some reissues. This is the reissue from uh, Judas Priest, Painkiller. Um, I am lucky enough to own the OG of this, but um, that was on a spur of the moment whim. Um, but this is just as good, and you can pick this up. This is actually cheaper than a lot of the Judas Priest. Um, uh, reissues this is about maybe 13 14 quid so really good and for one of their best albums that's an awesome price uh, next up are uh, Megadeth and um, they put out 
a lot of reissues and they're all very cheap on Amazon. Um, for the newer ones, you're looking at around 17 to 20 quid. Um, but for some reason, the older ones, they go for um, a lot cheaper. So um, for the likes of Rust in Peace, you could probably pay about £13 for this, brand new. Um, so you can't really you can't really argue with that. And it's the same for um, Peace Cells. These two especially go for uh, really good prices, brand new. So no reason to not pick them up. Um, if you want some Kiss, uh, Crazy Nights, you'll always find this in a record shop or on eBay for really cheap. I think it's because this is one of Kiss's um, more frowned upon albums, but I really enjoy it. Um, compared to, say, Destroyer, I know Kiss fans are going to hate me for that, um, but Destroyer, Love Gun, those are the kind of albums that can be put together to make one good album and get rid of all the other crap. But this, it's um, late 80s or mid to late 80s, so just full of that 80s flavour and um, you'll pick it up for, like I said, cheapest chips. Um, on to more reissues, uh, Iron Maiden. Um, you'll definitely pay less for these reissues than you would for the originals. Um, for some reason, again, this is my favourite album from Iron Maiden. And this is probably one of the cheapest. Um, I think I picked this up for about 14 quid. Um, you could easily pay more than that for the original. Uh, same with peace of mind. Um, but I'm not one of these guys who has to have the original. I will literally go with... Um, most of the time, what's the cheapest? Um, I'm not going to go out and buy an album just because it's the original and pay 30, 40 quid more for it when I could just pick up the reissue. Unless there was sound issues, um, then that was kind of a different story. But um, my collection is mixed. So, um, for instance, I do have um, a reissue of Iron Maiden's debut, then Killers, their second album. I have. Um, an OG press and then they go on to and it just mixes mix and match all the way through so um, anyway I'm not one of those guys who has to have the original um, next up some Japanese rock from Easy O um, also a great band like Loudness um, and worth picking up and you'll see this for next to nothing as well and if you see it for any more than about 8 quid then you're getting charged too much um, Dokken Tooth and Nail, um, actual, awesome, <laughs> actually an awesome album from Dokken. Um, this is one I see as well go for, not a lot, but probably more than it should be should be going for. Um, but yeah, another one to pick up, shouldn't be paying more than a tenner for this, and it's just awesome metal. If I can have a drink, I'm getting a bit dry. Not long to go. Next is Dio. Um, I picked this up for about eight quid. VG plus condition. Um, like I said, don't if you see this and it's like your favourite album, don't pick it up when it's like sixteen quid just because you really sorry about the glare. Uh, just because you really want it, you can pick up these albums for a really good price. Um, people seem to think, oh, it's Dio. I'll slap. An extra tenner on the on the price tag, but don't be fooled. You'll pick this up for under a tenner. Uh, next up is Wasp. You'll pick up a lot of Wasp, especially the 80s stuff, uh, for a really good price. Um, this just happens to be one of my favourites, so I pulled this one out. Um, but yeah, 80s Wasp, you really can't go wrong with. You'll get them up. You get them pretty cheap. Um, Lizzie Borden. And um, these go for. These are kind of mixed, you'll see these for, not expensive, but you'll see them in maybe like the 14, 15, 16 pound range, and then maybe the next week you'll see them in the kind of 7 or 8 pound range. So again, be patient, you will see these for a really good price, so pick them up if you can, because they are awesome. Uh, Bullet Boys, now this is one that I paid over the odds for, um, this is one I... I got when I first started collecting and I think I paid about 14 quid for it and it's nowhere near a 14 pound album. Um, 
you should be able to pick this up for about eight quid. Um, maybe less. So that is, a, like I said, I was being impatient and I just jumped on it. And the last one is TNT Knights of the New Thunder. Um, just an absolutely awesome uh, top to bottom heavy metal album. Um, and one, again, you see in the £15 range, maybe higher, when if you're patient enough, you will pick up this for under a tenner. So that is a pretty good stack to kickstart your collection. Um, people who have already got their collections um, started and or you guys out there who have got a collection already on its way into the thousands or whatever, you can leave um, some ideas. But like I said, this is more aimed at people who are just starting out. Um, and I hope I kind of got across that. Um, it can be an expensive hobby if you let it be expensive. Um, if you're working to a budget, there's plenty out there. And these are all well-known albums that you shouldn't be paying over the odds for. So uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.